God sent me to prison. So that is the context by which you must always describe that relationship. Yeah. Hey, no ditty, man. No ditty. All right, your boy Shine, the former bad boy artist, has now given an official statement. We going to see what Shine got to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Let's get it. When I was an 18-year-old kid, um, you know, just wanting to do nothing other than make my mother proud and make Belize proud and um, do what all of us want to do, be recognized for our talent and uh, take over the world, uh, I was defending him and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me and he contributed, he pretty much sent me to prison. So that is the context by which you must always describe that relationship. Yes, I forgave, I moved on, but let us not pretend as if I was in Miami for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, I and I spent a birthday with him once. I, went, I saw a birthday cake. I went again to do a charity event for impoverish youth uh, in London. Um, so let us not lose sight of what the cold hard facts are. This was not someone uh, who I vacationed with and who he and I enjoyed this great intimate relationship of brotherhood. This is someone who destroyed my life and who I forgave and who I moved on and for the better interest of Belize, uh, because he was in a position at that time to give scholarships and to maybe invest. Um, I would not uh, deny uh, attempting to bring the investment to Belize and to bring the contributions to education to Belize. But don't distort it as if, you know, he and I were boom uh, This is someone that destroyed my life. But do I take any joy or any satisfaction with what he is going through? Um, absolutely not. I. I I am different than maybe other people. No one needs to fail for me to succeed. No but one, no one needs to suffer in, for me. In your, at, the, at the height of your professional relationship, or thereafter through the reconciliation, when he was an instrumental part of promoting you through Revolt Media, did you, were you aware of these freak off events and were you aware of them? Did you have any participation in them? Oh my goodness, Jules Vasquez. <laughs> Jules Vasquez. Were you aware of them? Jules Vasquez. <laughs> Were you aware of the free coughs? Because Sir, I, I, I had nothing to do with Sean Combs' uh, personal life, no interaction. That level, everything was strictly on a professional level. All right, so y'all heard from Sean. So it's looking like... Because y'all know, um, I forget if he's the ambassador or he's trying to be president or something like that. I'm not fluent in his position, and I apologize for that. But it looks like the people in his country, maybe some people who are detractors of his, they're trying to stick Diddy on him and say, oh, you was cool with Diddy. Um, does this mean that, you know, any of the things that Diddy was into, you were also into? Um and as he said, you know, hey, I wasn't really cool with this guy. He destroyed my life. Um, but also, you know, he wasn't trying to 100% throw Diddy under the bus. He said, you know, uh, I don't take no pleasure in seeing what's going on with him. I think another question would have been, but, you know, do you feel for the victims, right? Um, and that's something I see a lot of people lose sight of when they speaking about Diddy. I said the same thing about Young Miami. What about the victims? You can do your little Carisha, please, but speak on the victims. Anybody who wants to say anything positive about Diddy, you can do that. But also say, hey, if there's any victims involved, which there clearly is, if you want to just take the Cassie video, then say, hey, I feel for the victims. But also, you know, um. It's sad to see what's happening to somebody's legacy, you know, somebody who built all he's built. Um, it's sad to see him throw all of that away through his own actions. Uh, something along the lines of that, you know what I mean? So, you know, hey, you can still stick up for your boy, um, but I just want to see a lot more people say, hey, but there are some people accusing him of some horrific things, and um, 
those people need to also be cared for and taken seriously. Okay. Um, and look, Diddy's going to be fighting his case. I told y'all before, I thought he might take a plea deal. That's what the experts were saying. That's what Myron Gaines was saying, the ex-federal agent. Um, let me turn my light on. I forgot the light wasn't on. I'm in the dark. You know, now they're going to say I'm Diddy. Hold on, nigga. Hold on. Hey, no Diddy, man. No Diddy. <laughs> okay. Um, so I thought he was going to take a plea deal. That's what the experts were saying because he was looking at a lot of um, crazy charges in that 14-page indictment. But now it's looking like he is going to fight the case and try to take this to trial. And I think that's another reason why he might not have bail because... If he's going to be trying to fight this, they definitely don't want him out and about being able to potentially coerce witnesses, bribe people, threaten people, etc. All right. But also he contacted um, not Dawn, but the other girl from Danity Kane, the other dark skinned young lady. They said he contacted her like 50 something times. Then she put out a statement basically saying that wasn't her experience with Diddy. A lot of people think Diddy paid her off. Um, so they said if he wouldn't have contacted any potential witnesses, he might have got his bail. But they just feel like he's too powerful to let, you know, go free. And y'all saw him. He tried to give up all of his kids' passports. He tried to say, hey, I won't have any chicks coming to the house. Shout out to Milagro Grams. I saw her on Twitter. She said, what about the male escorts? Will they be able to come to the house? It's been a lot going on. It's been a lot of baby oil. It's been a lot of lubricant, okay? So let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, Sean, he, he trying to stay out of it the best he can, but um, also trying to be politically correct, and it looks like he don't want to really completely throw Diddy under the bus, but I also think he's trying to show his growth and, you know, trying to show, hey, I have completely forgiven him because if he was to go in on Diddy, you know, people would say, oh, well, that's because he got an axe to grind against Diddy. And so maybe he's trying to show I'm so past that I don't even have to kick you while you're down. Um, so let me know what y'all think about this. Like the video and subscribe. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.